how to change your axis orientation even after you've been animating for a while using Animbot tools. Ever have this problem? Oh shoot, my z-axis isn't pointing at the camera. By the end of this video, you can point your z-axis wherever you want without breaking your animation. You can find the tools you'll need by selecting this spyglass icon right here and typing in the name of your tool. Copy XForm Playback Range, and then you can select this icon to create a hotkey. Then you can create a hotkey for both Copy XForm's World Space Playback Range and Paste XForm's World Space All Keys. Hit Apply, and then Close. You're going to start by going to File and Incrementally Saving. Then, by selecting your center of gravity, your arms and legs, IK controls, and pull vectors. And for your FK controls, you can select the first control of your chain and your head control if they are in world space. If they're not, you don't need to worry about this. With your control selected, copy XForm's world space playback range. Your timeline should flash purple. Then select your all control. It may also be called root or base control. Make sure you're on your first frame and rotate it to where you want it to be. In this case, pointing at my camera. Then delete any stray keys. Select your world space controls and paste XForm's world space all keys. Again, your timeline should flash purple. Now your animation should be where it should be and your Z axes as well. You may need to adjust your tangents and run your Euler filter to fix any gimbal lock problems by going to curves, Euler filter. Subscribe and like if this was helpful, and dislike and comment if it's not clear or didn't work, and I'll fix it for you.